Hey guys and girls, let's talk about crankbaits. Crankbaits, that's right. Baits you throw out there, crank back in. That's why they call them crankbaits. Let's kind of try to cover as much as we can from the basics of crankbait fishing to becoming an expert. And everybody can become an expert in a few minutes. One of the things to remember about a crankbait, it's called a crankbait because you throw it out there and crank it back in. And you can catch fish that way, just throwing that bait out there and cranking it back in. That's kind of the basic tenets. And most people, that's exactly how they fish a crankbait. Simply throw it out there, wind it back in. This particular crankbait I've got on, this is an American Original Deep Smoothie by Lucky Strike. It's one of my very favorite baits, and it's a good one. Throw the bait out there and crank it back in. Now, that's a way to catch them. That's the way they're fished most by, all, all over the country by lots and lots of people. But that's also the first basic mistake that you're making when you're fishing a, spin a crankbait is throw it out there, crank it back in. You want to do something different with that crankbait all the time. Throw it out there, wind it down, stop, wind, stop, wind, stop. That's a good deal right there. You can wind several times and stop. Never throw the bait out there and just wind it back in. Wind, stop, down in the grass. Wind, stop, wind, stop. That's fine right there. Just winding and stopping is a good technique. S speed, that's another thing to think about. Speed when you're crankbaiting. You can crank a bait, bait really fast. We call that burning when you're cranking them really fast. But again, you want to stop every now and then. Burn it, stop. Burn it, stop. Or you can crank a crankbait slow. Now, with square bills, this is a long bill crankbait. You have long bill crankbaits and square bill crankbaits. Square bill crankbaits are made for a couple reasons. One is they go shallow. Secondly, a square bill instead of a round bill, when it hits something, will have a tendency to bounce off of it and not get hung up. That round bill will kind of dig in and kind of get your hooks hung a whole lot worse. So, talking here and going to run into a tree. A little duck in that tree. A little duck said, I thought I was hidden in here. You come in a tree with me. A lot of times, in particularly in fishing around brush piles with a, with a square bill, we'll wind that bait very slow. See how it's slow I'm getting in the grass there. I'm trying to stay out a little deeper to stay away from the grass while we're talking. But slow rolling the spinner bait, I mean a crank bait. Really winding that thing slow. Now you can also crank it down deep. A few cranks get it down deep. Stop it and catch a fish. <laughs> I love it when that happens. We didn't come out here to catch fish. Oh, come on. That's about a three pounder. Nice fish, I saw. We came out here to talk about crankbaits. All right, throw it down there. Crank it down pretty, pretty good and stop it. And then just slow roll that bait a lot slower. You see what I'm doing right there? It's just barely getting deeper. It's going very slow. Might want to give a couple hard cranks. Stop. The main thing is do a lot of things different with your crankbait. That's one of the critical things to think about. Do a lot of things different with it. Don't, just don't throw it out there and wind it back in. Now, I heard one of my buddies one time, a guy asked him, how were you working that bait? Were you just cranking it back in? I, now, I think he was fishing topwater bait at that time, but he was working it with Calvin Hudson, a buddy of mine, Calvin Hudson, from down in Texas, we was fishing together. and, and uh, he was working a topwater bait, and he was working it so fast that to me it looked like he was just cranking it back in. And I asked him, I said, are you just cranking that topwater bait back in? It looks to me like that's all you're doing, just throwing it out there and winding it across the top. And his answer to me was very, very, very proficient. He said, I don't just wind anything back in. I don't just wind anything back in. No matter what bait I'm fishing with, I don't ever just wind it back in. So that's a good mantra to adopt right there is don't just wind anything back in. You're fishing a topwater, a crankbait, worms, jigs, spinnerbaits, always be doing something. Now I watched Calvin after he told me that, and Calvin is for, forever doing this to his rod tip, winding and doing that, winding and doing that. Always doing something to his rod tip. That's a great thing technique too to think about. Just simply wind. You can do that with a spinnerbait. You know I do that with a spinnerbait a lot. Wind by that spinnerbait and just hit, hit a couple licks with my rod to kind of change the sound, change the motion, change the direction of the bait. It almost looks like what I call a deflection deal. It looks like that bait is deflecting off something, although it's actually not. You're simply doing it with your rod tip. So, but the key thing to remember is always be doing something 
different with that crankbait. Wind it fast, wind it slow, stop. If nothing else, just stop. Wind and stop. Here's another technique that I do quite a bit with a crankbait. It's sort of like what we've been talking about, except it's using your rod tip as opposed to using the reel that much. Sweeping back with the rod and then moving the rod tip back toward it. Simply sweeping back, it's moving very, very fast, and then winding back toward the bait. Winding back toward the bait. Now, if I'm fishing grass, which I love to fish grass, if the lake's got grass in it, I'm probably going to be fishing around the grass more than anything else. Sometimes it gets buried down in the grass. That might be a 12 pound bass. 12 pounds of grass, look at that. <laughs> But uh, use your rod tip as opposed to using your reel. And that'll work too, and that creates even yet a different type of sound. Try to figure out as many ways as you can to make that bait be different as it comes back to you to the boat. Throw it out there and you wind it back in to make it, make it, make it different. You can use a lot of different speeds. You can use a lot of different movements with your rod tip. You can stop, you can go, you can wind fast, you can wind slow. The main thing to do is don't just throw that bait out there and wind it back in. This is kind of just mindless casting. It's not really fishing. Fishing is when you start doing something, that rod tip, doing something with the speed, doing something with the stop and go. That's the critical thing. If you will just keep that in mind, and if you'll do that when you're out there crankbait fishing, without a doubt, without a doubt, you're gonna catch a lot more fish on a crankbait. That's the key thing in fishing a crankbait right there. What I'm doing all the time is something different. I do a lot of moving my rod tip. I've just kind of got in the habit, get in the habit of moving your rod tip, no matter what bait you're fishing, you're probably going to start catching a lot more fish. Guys and girls, go up there and have a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.